Now this first week thing we want to do is we want to use this surface to draw on. This top of the bottle is where we want to start our cone. And so we can do that by telling it we want to sketch directly on the surface of this cone. So I pick this as my sketch plane. And you'll see it created a sketching plane right on top of that surface. Right coplanar with that surface. That sketch plane, sketch, sketch two, is coplanar with that surface. All right, the next thing we need to do is you can see this circle, but it's really just, it's not really there. It's a part of the bottle. We want to make our own circle here. So we are going to use, come up here, click use, and we're just going to hover over that circle and we're going to click on that circle. And it creates that circle in that plane. If I turn off the bottle for a minute, you can see now I've traced it basically. I've traced that circle onto my sketching plane. So I have a piece of geometry that I can use for a additional feature. So I'm just going to turn the bottle back on for a moment and I'm going to say finished with that sketch. Okay, so I have a sketch. There it is. Sketch number two. But I need another sketch in a perpendicular orientation. So I've got the circle and now I need the axis of the cone, right? So I need a line coming straight out. I'm going to create another sketch. This time I'm going to use an existing plane. I'm going to use this front plane right here because it passes right through that axis that I need. So click on the front and then right click and make it normal. And now I'm looking right at the edge. So if I turn my bottle off, the circle I just created is right there. There's that circle. OK, I'm looking at the edge of the circle and I want a perpendicular line straight out to the left. OK, so I'm going to just tilt this ever so slightly. I'm going to sketch a line and I'm going to sketch a line from that end or from that center point. And I'm just going to go out horizontally. This direction and I'm going to give it mine. I'm going to say my cone is three inches tall. So I'm just going to make it three inches. This is up to you. Your dimension could be two or three, whatever you want. Somewhere in between, maybe a little bigger, a little taller. That's going to determine the height of your cone. So now with these two elements, with this circle and with this endpoint, I can loft or create a feature that connects these two with a smooth transition. OK, that's what the loft command does. So come up here. Loft command is the one that looks like a volcano. OK, I'm going to click on this. This one's very easy. Make sure you are on new. I do not want to add to something existing already. I want the cone to be its own new part. OK, make sure I'm solid and new. And then I just need to tell it what surfaces. So I'm going to fix first. I'm going to pick the circle. And then I'm going to scroll over and pick the endpoint. So I'm going to loft from here to here. And there it is. OK, so it completes the cone for me. I like it. I'm going to check the green box, which says thank you very much. Now I need, I need another step, though. This is a solid cone. A solid cone. We want to make our cone from a piece of a manila folder. OK, a manila folder. And I need a thickness of that manila folder. I'm going to take my handy dial caliper and measure that. And if I measure that, I'm going to get 11 thousandths of an inch. So 11 thousandths, 0 0.011 for the non-engineers. For the engineers, 11 thousandths, 11 thousandths of an inch. All right, so how do we make this cone hollowed out? So that's just paper thin. Well, we're going to use the shell command. It's right here. Shell command is pretty easy. Click on it. You are going to say, what faces do I want to remove? Well, I want to start here and I want to hollow it out from here. So I'm just going to click that surface. It automatically starts out, makes a cone, but that's the wrong thickness. OK, that looks good, except it's way too thick. So I'm going to change this. What am I going to make it? 11 thousandths, 0 0.011, OK? 0 0.011. If you ever notice this slider bar down here, this can kind of like give you a little preview if you want to just animate it and see what it looks like as it's shelling it. 
So there it's totally solid and I can slowly bring that into view. Just kind of a little visual effect. Doesn't really do much other than that. Okay, so I am uh, I'm going to hit enter now that I've put that new thickness in and it's going to change it. You're going to say, well, it disappeared, but it's actually it's because it's so thin you can barely see it. So if I zoom way in, you can see that now oh, I have to check that. Sorry, I jumped out of there too soon. Let me go back and edit that. I need to pick this face and check it. There we go. I just uh, exited the command a little too soon. So you can kind of see that looks like a snow cone cone, right? I could put some colored flavored ice in there with lots of flavor and make a nice snow cone. But there is the wall thickness of that cone and that is 11 thousandths inch thick. So my cone is complete. And now I can go back and turn on the bottle to see what everything looks like. There we go. 